on Midco Sports tonight, it's this week's list. We recap the past five years of the rivalry series on the gridiron between USD and SDSU. Then it's a high school state volleyball preview. Jody Norstead and Jason Andera tell you everything you need to know about the matchups in both North and South Dakota. And finally, highlights from a thrilling home opener for the South Dakota women's basketball team last night who notched a big win over the Big East's Creighton. All that plus much more, Midco Sports Tonight kicks off right now. Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Kelly Stewart and this is Midco Sports Tonight. Well, it is rivalry week for the South Dakota and South Dakota State football teams. They'll meet for the final game of the regular season this Saturday in Vermilion. And with that, our list topic for this week is the rivalry. Going through the past five years of this historic game since the rivalry was renewed in 2012. November 17th, the date on this one in Brookings. And it was a fast start for SDSU. The Jacks scored 21 first quarter points en route to a 31-8 win against the Coyotes at Coughlin Alumni Stadium. Austin Sumner threw for 272 yards and a touchdown in the game. While current Detroit Lions running back Zach Zenner put down 164 yards on the ground, including a touchdown as well. The STSU defense was also impressive, holding USD to just 22 yards rushing. But USD wideout Will Powell was a bright spot for the Oats in his last game in a Coyote uniform, catching eight passes for 118 yards. On to 2013, November 16th in the Dakota Dome, a 27-12 victory for the Jacks. But this one was a closer game than the score indicates. It was 13-12 SDSU heading into the final quarter. But Austin Sumner connected with Jason Schneider three seconds into the final frame to build the lead to 20-12. South Dakota drive inside the SDSU. SDSU 35 three times down the stretch, but the Jackrabbit defense stopped them all three times. Finally, an 80-yard interception returned by SDSU's Winston Wright sealed the victory with a 236 left to go in the game. Back up to Brookings for the 2014 game played in very snowy conditions. It was cold up there, November 22nd at Coughlin Alumni. This was a career game for SDSU quarterback Austin Sumner. He passed for 395 yards and three touchdowns to lead the 15th ranked Jacks to a 37-14 victory against South Dakota. Interestingly enough, that win would tie the all-time series between the two teams at 51-51-7, and which was the first time the series had been tied since the first meeting all the way back in 1889. You heard that right. Moving on to 2015, now things start to get a bit closer. November 14th, the date for this one at the Dakota Dome. South Dakota actually led this game 20-10 heading into the fourth quarter. But then SDSU junior quarterback Zach Lujan came in for starter Taron Christian, and he had an impressive day. Lujan completed six of seven passes for 128 yards on scoring drives that spanned 65 and 88 yards, putting the Jacks up 24-20 with just under nine to go in the game. USD's Ryan Sager would throw a pick six with 740 left on the clock. That extended the Jacks lead 30 to 20. And although USD would notch a late Miles Bergner field goal with under three minutes to go, it was not enough. SDSU picks up the road win 30 to 23. Finally, our most recent matchup on the gridiron. November 12, 2016 in Brookings, Dana J. Dykhouse Stadium now, the 111th meeting between these two schools, and it was a back and forth affair. The score was tied 7-7 at halftime, 14-14 midway through the third quarter, and 21-21 with 12 minutes to go. But after a missed 32-yard field goal by USD midway through the fourth, the Jacks went on a 10-play, 80-yard drive the other way for the go-ahead score. South Dakota went three and out on its next possession, stopped the Jacks after that, but their final drive would fall short as Chris Strebler was picked off by Dallas Brown to seal a 28-21 win for SDSU. So five years of the renewed rivalry, and all of them have gone to South Dakota State. However, I think all fans can agree, this is the year the teams are the closest, and there's even more on the line Saturday with the playoffs looming. So this 2017 rivalry game is definitely going to be something special. When we come back, we'll dive into the rivalry a little more and discuss this past, the past games and the present situation of the Coyote Jackrabbit matchup on the gridiron. It's our list discussion next on Midco Sports tonight. <laughs> 